The subsidy regime of the federal government is choking out all benefits that Nigeria should be making as an oil producing company. The reason is simple. The country's refineries are not working and Nigeria has to import petrol massively. But that story is about to change. Now you can come and see what is happening in the Portaco refinery. We will get it back. We will get it back to normalcy. We will run it as a business. As a matter of fact, we borrowed money to fix it. We didn't take petrolation money. We are borrowing money to fix it because borrowers will not lend you money. Lenders, sorry, will not give you money except they are sure that you can return it. And the payment for that is tied to the productivity of that refinery. And that means that you know, something must change. And what did we change? We are not going to operate it. We are going to have an O&M um, mechanism. It means operation and maintenance contractor will run it. We will not run it because that's a basic requirement of the lending. One of the problems that the NMPCL has to contend with is the theft of petroleum products, which he says all communities across the country are involved in. But more than anything, and much, much more difficult to manage is the issue of vandals, which cuts across every community, no exception now. In the past, uh, people have always thought that it is between Lagos and uh, Mosibi that you have problem, or between Waria and, and Bini, or probably uh, maybe in the east or somewhere. It's everywhere. Wherever our products have gotten to, everybody has now become some form of vandal. And so there's no exception. There is no exclusion. Wherever our facilities first, this is exactly what is, what is happening. And what we have decided to do is to also make this private. We are building a national reserve company. This is very necessary. It's a requirement of the law. And that reserve company will run those pipelines. On a larger scale, International oil theft is costing Nigeria about 700,000 barrels of oil per day. The group CEO says that the illegal activity is end-to-end, -end, which includes several layers of society and some members of the NNPCL. We are not just following the, following the, the, the lease, we are also following the cash. And I can confirm to you this moment that uh, you'll see more things will happen. I'm sure you've heard this statement made by the National Security Advisor. It's not an empty talk. It is real. We mean it. And we know that people are involved. The 122 people that I have mentioned, they have names. We know them. At the right moment, they, they will be disclosed. But to tell you, beyond this also, you know, not just the, the small rats that we arrest at the, at the locations, you know, uh, we are going after everyone else. And I can tell you that the EFCC and the NFIU, all of them are on the trail of the cash. So you, they will find the cash. And they are already finding the cash. Beyond no importation of petroleum products, the group CEO of the NMPCL believes Nigeria is also on the path to becoming a net exporter of the product by mid-2023. From State House Abuja, Kende Amudu, Trust TV News.